Hey guys. It's JMEAS here. I saw to be announced new video. Which is the PDS contest submission. When I saw the video, I had six cons. But I will like to give the explanation to these cons. Anyways the video was good. I'm going to watch a video of it again to share my thoughts. Anyways let's watch it. Hey guys, this is to be announced here with the 100 subscriber special video. Today, we are going to review some of these wonderful submission entries for the PDS Tornado Warning Contest. Some of these may be unrealistic, so I will give constructive criticism to those who submitted their mockups to help them improve better on whether they should fix something in their mock or if it is perfect. Please note that I may repeat myself while reacting to these submissions. Before we start off, I will show you a bit of a sample I have made. That was the sample. Now, let's begin, shall we? We are going to start off with Kitty Uzuddy. Okay, it looks like that the first submission is one of my subscribers Kitty Uzuddy. She was, the one that also spotted my scrolling con. I will explain the details when it shows my submission. This video is for the PDS contest submission. It is fictional. If you would like to participate, the links are in the description. Con 1, there is already something wrong with the DAS deck format. The National Weather Service is correct, but it should be capitalized along with the event tornado warning. In addition, there should be no asterisk for this DAS deck format. Also, there should be a new category, or whatever that is for the counties. The July 29, 21 should be replaced with July 29, 2021. And last but not least, the sender ID should not be the NWR station, instead it should be cloth slash NWS. Needless to say, this is the incorrect DAS deck format. Let me show you an example of what a real DAS deck format will look like. You had to seriously take my NWR tone that already has like the same macro. You could have made your own, but hey, I'll just let this slide. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued Contu, that doesn't sound like voice text Paul. It sounded more like the ripoff version, like from Oddcast or something. But despite numerous creators not having voice text Paul, and deciding to submit their mock-up without obtaining voice text Paul, the requirements have now changed. But still, voice text Paul is the exact NWR voice all weather forecast office is used now at a starting in 2016 where they had the console replacement system be replaced with broadcast message handler. In the same year. Please keep this in mind. A tornado warning for Southeastern Lake County in northeastern Illinois, Eastern Cook County in northeastern Illinois, North Central Will County in northeastern Illinois, Central McHenry County in northeastern Illinois, until 6 p.m. At 5.53 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Douglas Park, or near Chicago, moving southeast at 60 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near McHenry and Gurney around 5.55 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Rogers Park, Lincoln Park, Lincoln Park Zoo, Logan Square, the Illinois State University, Arlington Heights, Crestwood, North Park, Wrigley Field, Humboldt Park, the Museum of Science and Industry, Northwest University, Loyola University, Bridgeport, Lakeview, Oak Lawn, Chicago, Lawn, Midway Airport, Evergreen Park, Uptown, Jefferson Park, Stone Park, North Center, York Center, Oakland Community College, Rogers Park, McHenry and Triton College. Including the following interstates, Interstate 88 near mile marker 140, Interstate 90 between mile marker 72 and 84, Interstate 94 between mile markers 31 and 48. Interstate 290 between mile markers 4 and 16. Interstate 294 between mile markers 31 and 48. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. 
To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties in Illinois, Lake, Cook, Will, and McHenry. This concludes the submission of Kitty Uzzuddy. His mock was very good, but needs some little improvement in you. Thank you for participating. Next submission, we are going to start with JM. Peace. Okay, the second one is my submission. Con 1, as you can see here, he obviously used a different EASS AME from another video, which I'm assuming from the 2011 National EAS test. He could have used any EAS encoder. But oh well, if it was due to him using a different device other than the PC, that is understandable. My opinion number 1. Most weather alerts I receive through radio or TV uses the tone. A lot. I felt like it to add it in because of that. Con 2, the scrolling text is way too fast. Maybe slow down the speed a little. It could be easier to read. My opinion number 2, the scrolling bar was the main issue I had. I don't know the speed it usually goes so I had to make my own one. Sorry if that was the one you saw. Con 3, the NWS attention signal is not first on the EZ+. It should be replaced with its EBS attention signal lasting for up to 8 seconds. My opinion number 3, kinda the same thing with opinion 1. The National Weather Service in Chicago has- Con 3, do not forget about military time. Military time is what the EZ Plus uses. Instead of the regular time, it should be 1800 hours. My opinion for, sorry. One alert I saw a year ago used regular time which I think it was the New York time zone instead military time. It's issued a torn- Comp 5, wrong date. It should be the 29th of July, not the 23rd. In addition, I don't know what other Paul voice you are using. It kind of sounds like a voice I used when I started my channel before I moved to Oddcast then voice text. My opinion number 5, that date is April 23rd, 2021 because that's where tornado season happens at my area and where a close by tornado. Tornado warning for southeastern... Con 6, like I said last time, the sender ID should not be the NWR station like KXI41, instead it should be clot slash NWS. Finally, my opinion number 6, I never see that type of thing a lot. Because when I see them, I had to do other things that sucked so I wouldn't able to catch them a lot. Lake County in northeastern Illinois, eastern Cook County in northeastern Illinois, north central Will County in northeastern Illinois, central McHenry County in northeastern Illinois, until 6 p.m. At 5.53 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Douglas Park, or near Chicago, moving southeast at 60 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near, McHenry and Gurney around 5.55 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornado thunderstorm include Rogers Park, Lincoln Park, Lincoln Park Zoo, Logan Square, the Illinois State University, Arlington Heights, Crestwood, North Park, Wrigley Field, Humboldt Park, the Museum of Science and Industry, Northwest University, Loyola University, Bridgeport, Lakeview, Oak Lawn, Chicago, Lawn, Midway Airport, Evergreen Park, Uptown, Jefferson Park, Stone Park, North Center, York Center, Oakland Community College, Rogers Park, McHenry and Triton College, including the following interstates, Interstate 88 near mile marker 140, Interstate 90 between mile marker 72 and 84, Interstate 94 between mile markers 31 and 48, Interstate 290 between mile markers 4 and 16, Interstate 294 between mile markers 31 and 48. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties, Illinois, Lake, Cook, Will, and McHenry. That ends the submission of JM. Peace. His markup was also good, but needs a lot of improvement to work on. Needless to say, everything else besides the constructive criticism given was great. Thank you for participating. And that's my opinion for the PDS submission contest by to be announced. Sorry where probably my submission was the one that has the most cons.
This month is basically starting something new in my EAS life. The link to his channel is on description. His PDS submission contest video is also on the description. Bye bye. Another one at the end of the video if you're wandering the Paul voice. I can't do something like this. Illinois, Central McHenry County in northeastern Illinois, until 6 p.m. At 5.53 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Douglas Park, or near Chicago, moving southeast at 60 miles per hour. So this is the best I got to something like that. At 5.53 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Douglas Park, or near Chicago, moving southeast at 60 miles per hour.